right, how are we doing? I think we're, we're pretty good. We're kind of good right here. Okay, main focus. Yes. All right. So for this week, I gotta do more trendy, more trendier videos, videos that are gonna get more traction. But until I can come up with those videos, I thought this is, I'm a little, there we go. I thought I'd make a video on how to make product photography that much better. Bring your photography up to the next level. I would say any photography. It doesn't have to be product photography. It can be. It can, it can be any photography. We're gonna start off with my watch. I'm just, I'm just taking a random uh, uh, item. I'm trying to show you guys that you can take dope photos of anything, especially when it's product photography. It can be anything, and it can be super simple. So yes, yeah, so I got this, and I got somewhat of an idea. Just my little uh, 20 by 20 soft box right here, where that is in relation to the subject. We are not gonna keep it on this. I'm going to change that up, but you guys will see what's going on from there. Okay, all right, so let's get started. Something I wanted, wanted to tell you guys through this series, through this video, is that if you wanna upgrade the way how you take photos, how to add more character to your photos, it's just really how to, how to bring your photos up, is to add textures. Textures is king, textures is where it's at. So we have this watch here, it's a men's watch. I thought I'd get some of these stones that I had left over from a shoot that I did. Yep, that's all you guys get. So these are some just leftover rocks that I found outside for it. And I thought I'd put it in here. Men's watch, rocks, nice, nice and tough. That's what I was trying to go for. Didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. I need some more rocks, but it's raining outside and I really don't feel like going out there and getting more rocks. So yeah, and I'm sweating. So yeah, that's what I was trying to do, is trying to bring in some textures with the rocks. You just feel a difference between the smooth reflection photos to the ones with the rocks. I fear on the side with the ones with the stones in it. So stones, rocks, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna try something else. Okay, so to get my final look, I had to use about three lights. I got the 20 by 20 there, 18, I think it's 18 by 18, I'm not sure. Uh, and then I got the little newer $30, $30 light there, and then I have this little pen light here, and, and I just kind of held it to the side like that. I don't know why I just stopped it. I do need more stones back here. I would like it to go all the way to the edge. I want to do something now that all you guys can do, something more affordable if you don't have a studio light or you haven't gotten this newer light, which I highly recommend. But if you haven't gotten it, I'm gonna do something a little bit, something, oh, uh, jeez. I wanted to do something that even you guys could do, and I'm going to use this here lamp and uh, take some product photos right under here. Okay, so the style that I'm going for here is a little bit more lifestyle, I guess you could say. I feel like the other ones were studio, but I'm really trying to make this one look like I just came home, put their keys, wallet, uh, all their other stuff onto here, also took off their watch and just trying to make it tie in. Again, utilizing textures. So what are we gonna use for textures? We have the watch. I got two sets of car keys. I'm not sure which ones will be, we will be needing and I will use my phone and my wallet. Yeah, let's get to modeling this stuff and you guys can see what we come up with. So I'm catching some reflections in the watch face. So I'm just gonna take some pennies, slip them under the watch, tilt the watch a little bit away from the light so that it won't do that. I actually learned that, that little trick doing some food photography tilted the, the glass so that way it was more towards the cameras. Okay, so that's basically going to conclude today's vlog, today's video. I wanted to show you how, one, easy it is to take product photos. That whole shot was, that whole, that last bit, that's what I'm trying to say, that last bit was just shot with this regular lamp right there. I just put the stuff under it. And then if you have studio lights, you know you can do the stuff I did here. And uh, it's just simple. Uh, Want to make them better, start adding different little, little elements, different little textures in there. I use the stones here, my wallet, the, uh, the phone case, the phone, uh, the, what else, the keys, set of keys. And it can even be used in like portraiture, maybe even have Put your model up against a tree or something, or in a field with some grass behind them, or uh, you know, on a piano with some kind of fabric on it. Really, you can take this anywhere. So, once I learned that, 
introducing textures into your photos, it really, I feel like my, my photo game has really shot up. So I wanted to share with you guys and tell you how easy it is. So thank you guys for watching this video. Give this video a like if you learned something. Make sure to use these tips. And if you guys do use these, tag me on, on Instagram right here, Rama Visual. And I would love to see some of the stuff that you guys are doing using my different techniques. So yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you guys next week. Woo, that part stinks. I just kind of breathed in through my mouth a little bit. Super gross.